Okay, um, let's go for it. So today I'm going to present uh, Breast Eye, which is a revolutionary self use portable non diagnostic screening tool that can be used to screen for cancerous lumps in the breast. My name is Dr. Femi Ogunremi. I'm the CEO of Monitor Healthcare Limited. Um, in partnership with our um, part, with one of our partners in the UK, Highland Innovation Centre, we have come up um, with this idea to introduce this gadget to the markets in Nigeria. My objective today is, by the end of this session, I would expect that um, I will refresh your mind on breast cancer epidemiology in Nigeria. I would have talked about the burden of um, breast cancer locally and globally. I would have introduced you to a device called Breast High, and I will show evidence supporting Breast High uh, effectiveness amongst the black people with black skin. I will demonstrate the need for all doctors or all practitioners in Nigeria to have this gadget on their desk. I will have steered you know, the mind of researchers to on how to work with this device to create more interesting areas that we've not you know explore. Um, I will demonstrate the need to create a roadmap for screening process for breast cancer in Nigeria. Now the epidemiology. <clears throat> the fact is we know that uh, breast cancer is the commonest invasive uh, cancer in women. We know that the incidence of breast cancer um, has increased significantly worldwide since the, the 70s um, and it is clear that this is due to the change in the um, in our lifestyle, which is now swinging towards modernization. I will. We know that there's strongly a relationship between age and breast cancer. At age more than forty years, uh, we know from various studies that there are about ninety-five percent of. Um, you know, the ninety five percent of breast cancer, you know, incidents occur around this age. The incidence varies worldwide, but we know that in developed countries it is commoner. However, lately there's been significant increase in the developing country, uh, which is as a result of change in the lifestyle of people. There are about twelve thousand deaths per year from breast cancer worldwide and only 46 percent of women with, who develop breast cancer will survive over 10 years of age uh, over, over 10 period of 10 years in nigeria there are about two out of five women diagnosed with breast cancer will survive and comparatively when we look at places like japan uh, america or other developing country or developed countries there is higher survival rates to about four out of five who are diagnosed, which is about 80%, we actually survive the condition. Now, the reason for this is purely because in Nigeria, there's late presentation. Our ladies do not present, you know, um, following diagnosis of cancer. They do present very late, an advanced stage where, obviously, intervention is really not going to give much of a results that we expect that's how we look at when you look at the picture globally there's a lot of you know breast cancer uh, you can see the incidence of breast cancer is uh, quite high about 26 percent compared to the other form of cancers in view of all this we think breast eye would be appropriate to introduce to um, our system. 
talking about the the development or the evolution of race time, there are two different precursors prior to getting to um, breast cancer um, development. We have the breast checker, we have the breast light. I'll talk a little bit about the reason why there's been a paradigm shift from one to the other until we get uh, to breast eye. Breast cancer, I mean breast checker was the, the prim primitive one prim which was um, the first um, of its kind manufactured. However, it lights lighting effects from this particular um, model wasn't great which I'll show you in the next slide. And then that led to the inner you know, development or the manufacturing of breast lights, which is better in terms of the lighting and the luminosity of the, of the, uh, of the breast. However, when we look at this in the laboratory again, you discover that even though breast light has a better luminosity, there's still issues around its luminosity. I mean, uh, around the black skin and the 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 effectiveness wasn't that great. So the light source has been modulated further to develop uh, breast eye. Right. When we look at this is this is just a pictorial world, a graph that explains how there's been a bit of I mean there's been a change from one to the other based on the uh, you know luminosity effect of these um, different gadgets. If you look on the left hand side, you can see the relative luminosity uh, compared to the brightness setting. Brightness setting is telling you that you're increasing the 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 lighting source the light source of the, the device then you compare it with what you are seeing so at a light source of about 10 you expect uh, this if you are seeing if what you're seeing is a level of two that's not good it means you are pushing so much light into that but you're not getting much so if for example we look at number two brightness at the brightness of number two, if you are using breast light, breast light clinical, you will be seeing, you know, at about two, you can only see not much. Okay. Now, if you compare this to, if you go up the the step, if you compare to breast light standard, you're not seeing much. But the best one that you can get there is breast eye so at breast eye the luminosity is quite a lot better than the others so at luminous at brightness of about five you can see virtually anything with breast eye compared to breast light compared to you know breast checker i hope that makes sense and then results uh obtained using breast eye breast checker and breast lights if you look at breast checker, which is the primitive one, about 1,000 ladies were examined and we had a sensitivity of about 96%. Um, with examination, a charge, which is not recorded, however, the, sens uh, the sensitivity of benign, which is in you know, a benign condition, was about 75%. Compared to breast lights, used on about 8,000 ladies, Sensitivity remained constant. Uh, about 50 to 55 examinations were done by, by charge, and the uh, sensitivity of benign condition was 77%. When we come to breast light, or breast eye, over 2,000 ladies were examined. The sensitivity was 95%, and a better battery capacity, which means you were able to scan about 70 to 100. That's been modest examination per charge and the sensitivity for benign condition is about 87 percent so not better than the others this was at, uh, february 2017. um again to corroborate this this, this